Hey guys, it's me Luke and welcome to episode 2 of Road to 100ml from PVM. In this episode I'll be talking about changes to this series, changes to my channel and also just commentating over the general uh, bossing in this video. So to start off I went with Ryan and Nathan to the Caliphate Queen. It's the first time I've ever been to the Caliphate Queen and I can tell you that the drops are very very bad. The Caliphate Queen is, it just hits so hard, it absolutely tears. I have heard that it's attacks 100% accurate, um, or the one you're not praying against, obviously. So the range attack just absolutely destroyed me. Um, I did actually die. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, I did actually die, which is pretty embarrassing. As you see there, I've got an adamant spear, which is a bit of a joke. But um, I got a rune chain body as well. Uh, this is where I died. Uh, yeah, got hit for a 272. Um, didn't think it could hit that, but <laughs> evidently it could. So I would not recommend this boss for money making at all. It hits very high, you lose a lot of bruise and the drops are very bad. Anyway, on to the next clip. I went with a massive group of people to um <coughs> to Zamrak, sorry. And we did we did get a hilt actually, but uh, the drop you just saw there was a dragon dagger, of course. Uh, there's always a dragon dagger in this series. Always a dragon dagger dagger on every trip I seem to go to, but oh well. We do get a drop from this. Um, so th this was this was pretty fun to again just do a mass. Uh, I do I do like duo win and trio win. It is fun. Uh, you can see that's the drop. Uh, Zamrat kill got one uh, one mil twenty nine k, which isn't too bad. Uh, Helped towards the series obviously. So anyway, in terms of talking about change to this series, um, due to double XP weekend, uh, I've lost a lot of money this ser this episode. So I was thinking, well, do I do I just add on the money I make this week to the money that I made in the last week uh, as to do with the value, not actually do I have the items and money still, because I don't, I've actually spent that money, or do I take the original sum and take away what I have spent and then add on this, so it's kind of what I have actually made, not what I in theory would have made if I hadn't have spent it. So I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to be, so for this episode, say I lost all 8 mil, instead of adding 8 mil onto, say I made 10 mil this episode, I didn't, but in just you know, in case I did, um, I wouldn't add 10 and 8 to my 18 mil. I'd lost the 18 mil, but I made 10 mil, so I'd just still be on 10 mil. If you get what I mean, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so um, anyway, so that's basically how the series is going to work. So it's until basically in the last episode of the series where I open up the price check, put in what I made that week with the drops and cash, then put in the current cash from the series and the current drops in the series. And that price check is 100 mil. That is when the series is finished. And hopefully that day won't be too far away. <laughs> I imagine this might take a while, but you know, it depends on my luck. Depending if I get anything, stuff like Corp, uh, big drops. That completely depends. If I duo an Armor Hill, which I have done before, funnily enough, but I wasn't recording, then that would be awesome. That would help a lot. That's like 9 mil or so. So that would just be like doubling what I have made for this episode or whatever. That'd be very nice. Anyway, I was going to talk about changes to the channel. So I did say there was going to be a big change to the channel in my last video. Um, joining me on this channel is uh, I've partnered up with Xander, the head of my clan, and Xander will be making content alongside me. Obviously, I'll have my own content, like the Road to 100 Mil. It's my series, so he won't be like helping me with that. He might obviously join me in commentaries and stuff, but you know what I mean. He's it's, he have his own series. I don't know what series he's going to do yet. We haven't really talked about that. But yeah, he's going to be joining me, so I'm sure you guys uh, will love him. He's he's really nice. He's uh, a really good uh, guy, very down to earth. So I'm sure you guys will enjoy his content. He's a higher level than me actually. So if some of my subscribers, which I know they are, are higher levels um, than like me, which I'm 113, then maybe you'll be more interested in his content. Uh, he is 134, I believe. Lots of 99 stuff like that. So yeah, I'm sure you'll enjoy watching his content as well as mine. So yeah, that is quite a big change to the uh, change to the channel. Oh, and up here now you can see my second death of the video. Um, I died at Corp. Oh yeah, this um, I was with Lee and Mike, who are friends of mine IRL, and we just went there for a quick trip. We thought we'd just well, we don't know. He just messaged me. Oh, do you want to go to um, do you want to go to Corp? I was like, you know what, I will. So that was pretty cool. I didn't get anything, of course. We got soul runes two drops in a row. But if you watch this, I die. Go back to loot my stuff and try to eat out of it and die again so <laughs> that is the third death of this video pretty embarrassing 
but oh well, uh, all in good fun, I suppose. I not didn't actually lose stuff. I did get back, which is I would have hated it if I'd lost like BGS or Zami Spear or something. I'm sure Mike would have looted it though and would have been good. So here you can see second drop in a row is um, Soul Runes. I'm sorry that it's not on loot share, so you can't see it clear, um, more clear. Sorry. Uh, we did try to find loot share world, but it was like it was late, quite late in the evening. Lots of people were online. It was very, very hard to get a world. So we just thought we'd just show and trade. Maybe a lot easier. So Mike and Lee again are a lot higher than me, uh, 126 and 132, I believe. So yeah, um, again, I, I do like doing content with people who are high level. So if you are high level and you think oh, I want to go on a trip, but you know I'm not, I'm not mid level, uh, mid level runescaping, that's fine. By all means, uh, join me. I'll, I'll definitely up for that. I like playing with high levels. It's awesome, and that means I don't take as much damage. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was really fun to do this with Mike and Lee. Um, anyway, I was talking about, I was talking about uh. They change the channel and Xander join him. Yeah, so uh, I, I please leave um, any uh, comments about what you think about that. Uh, are you happy about it? Are you, are you excited about the new content that's coming out? Uh, the reason we did it was because uh, I had lots of PMs from people asking to uh, for me to bring out more videos, and I'm definitely up for that. I really, really want to bring out as many videos as I can, and sometimes it's not possible. Um, if you don't know, I'm I'm currently in my first level of A levels, uh, first year of A levels. Sorry. And I'm studying double mass physics and chemistry, so very very academic subjects. A lot and lots and lots of homework, so I can't be on all the time, and definitely I can't be making videos all the time as much as I'd love to. Um, I just don't have the time. Uh, so Xander will help me with that. So we might do a video like each day uh, daily. So like I'll do it one on Monday, he'll do one on Tuesday, I'll do one on Wednesday, etc. <coughs> so that'd be awesome. Um, if you see uh, some of my PMs are blurred out, I'm not dodgy or anything, I'm not some flower host in disguise. Uh, it's just I was getting spammed by gold farming bots because I always have my uh, private on so you guys can message me and stuff. And I don't want to advertise gold f uh, selling websites in my videos uh, by accident by accidentally putting uh, PMs from bots on there. So <laughs> that's why I blurred out that. But this trip is... Um, I went with Mike and Lee again. Uh, we went to Zami this time. <coughs> uh, they've never got a bo uh, drop from God Wars actually, which is I think uh, they said they had a Zami spear once, which I thought was crazy. Seeing as I go and I do get a drop most most um, trips, if there's a trip where I don't get a drop, that's that's very very rare. So um, yeah, that we didn't get a drop though. So <laughs> maybe they they just jinxed me. I don't know. But as you can see, this is fail free coming up. Mike is chilling on very low hit points. And then gets hit for a 93 by the ranger and dies, leaving me to solo as Lee had just logged out to go for dinner. I did try to kill all the minions and log out, but my whip was just not hitting. So anyway, for the next clips, uh, we have some barrows. Now if you're thinking, wait, barrows isn't a boss. Uh, in fact, it is. Uh, it is actually a boss, barrows. And the barrows brothers are their um, bossing based mini game, which is pretty cool. So I thought I'd throw in a bit of that. I'm currently... Hard to believe, I'm not lying, I promise you, but I'm actually on a 134 dry streak. Um, how do I know this? I didn't make that number up. Uh, when I was doing my uh, Barrow's Guide for mid level Runescaping, Episode 2, I was going to do a drop log, uh, see how many items I could get in, say, 100 chests. So I started doing it, and on about 70, when I still hadn't had anything, I decided that I would call it a day, because that is just kind of ridiculous. I was very, very annoyed by that in a way, because I mean that's just it's just crazy. The uh, Jagex say that the the drop rate of the items is one in sixteen, but that is not like very realistic to what I'm getting at the moment, which is nothing in 134. But I thought I'd do a couple of trips just so that if I did get it, you know, if there's any time I will get it, it will be hopefully now with this much dry streak. Hopefully I get triple item or a visage or something. That would be nice. I do believe you can get visages from uh, from from Barrows. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was with an update, but maybe I'd get one of them. Maybe that's my luck's just building up and up and up. So anyway, onto the uh, last clip. This is a Zami trip I went with uh, a few people from my clan. There's four of us in the end, and the drop is coming up in mean, and I've thrown in a bit of live commentary for you, <coughs> which I thought was pretty funny. This is when we got the drop live, and well, I'll be. I think it's pretty funny, so I'll let you listen to that now. Uh, uh, gob! Gob! Oh my god! Gob! Yes! Oh! The only drop I've never had! 
Oh! Do you like, do you like my uh, I just got um. Oh my god. Oh, the only drop I've never had. And it's not on your fucking um, Sammy drop. No, I don't even care. That's, go that's, that's going towards the, uh, the my vote 100 milliseries. <sighs> oh, thank you, Jesus. So yeah, I hope you thought that was pretty funny. I did, just, I did when I watched it back over. Um, I was very, very, very happy about that because that was the only drop I have never had from Zamrak from my whole drop vlog. Probably did over a thousand kills, never got one. So there we go. And now on to the price check for episode two. Okay, so now for the price check for this episode, I'm going to be throwing in. This is the uh, from the garb and the hilt. Oh, that. Turn that out for a sec. Um, this isn't random. I'm not just putting in random items. I think I got. Uh, I do note all of these down, so I do know like what drops I get each week. Um, it's not just random. Holy logs, regen bracelet, and uh, 50. Okay, so this is the price check for episode two. Um, not that much, I know. Uh, but you know, 5.6 mil. That's not too bad. <coughs> so the 5.6 mil. Um. Just this week from uh, Povium, from all the stuff you saw just then. Okay, now I'm going to add in this stuff from uh, the previous week as well to see what our total loot is. Uh, it might go up a bit, I'm not 100% sure. As I s the last week again wasn't that good. From my amazing luck that I had, um, oh, quality, that I had in my, when I was actually doing my uh, drop series for, my, for Zamorak. Uh, I was getting so many drops, like literally every single day, getting drops upon drops upon drops. And, and then when I started doing this series, all of a sudden my luck seemed to just go downhill. The f like for the first like three trips I went on when I first started this series, I just didn't get anything. So that was just really, really bad. I didn't get any drops of any sort, which sucked. But anyway, here you go with the final price check. That is 6.5 mil from two weeks of PVM, which is atrocious. But I did spend all of my money on double XP, and I'll quickly show you something cool now in my skilling tab. There we go, 48 overloads. That cost me a lot. I will be using these in my series. I'll be um only for stuff like armadol and when and court maybe when you, where you actually need them. Because uh, Zamrak, I do not need overloads at the moment. It's just a waste of money if I was going to go out and spend them. Uh, if going to use them, sorry, at armadol at Zamrak even. Ugh, lost some of my words there. Because you just you take take air barely any damage when you're with a big team, so it would be completely pointless. So anyway, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed this. Uh, sorry about the price dropping. I hope you guys don't mind too much. That um that does suck, but you know double XP is out of the way now. Now it's time to really really start building the bank, which is going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. So uh, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.